hey guys what's up it is me it is i cherish cogs welcome back again to my youtube channel and if you're seeing this place for the first time <laughs> welcome you're welcome to this youtube channel i post everything dark skin related from beauty vlogs lifestyle creative expression i even added skincare recently <laughs> anyway you guys are going to sing a lot but in today's video i'm going to be like taking you guys through some ways to own your dark skin how do you own your dark skin ways to own your dark skin let's let's be real dark skin girls a lot of dark skin girls dark skin women dark skin people do not love them. in fact they hate their dark skin that's why a lot of people some some percent of nigerian women bleach their skin <laughs> or they lie about it no 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 I, I was never dark skin, no. When I was younger, I was very, very fair. It's because I don't have money. It's because I, I've been suffering. I've been suffering. Or when, when you get, when people get really fair, or probably when, when somebody commends you and say, okay, oh, wow, you look so good. Ah, then I was really poor. Yeah, I don't have money, but now I'm okay. I'm taking care of my skin. So when you were dark, you were poor. So some people, a lot of people see dark skin as being dirty, as a sign of poverty. A lot of people see people who are dark skin as like second class and everything. So let's just let's just dive right into the video. This social the media has actually given us like a notion and idea. Uh set a standard for us. We are still seeing it present in the present day. Let's just say 2020. So we are still seeing these things here. The media portrays a certain image okay a certain idea of what they see to be beautiful a certain skin color now to me personally i feel like everybody every skin color we, you are beautiful regardless okay we you are beautiful if you are dark skin you are beautiful you are unique don't join the crowd don't see your dark skin as being as a sign of poverty dirtiness as a look a lot of people attribute a lot of things to dark skin okay so let me just give you one way in which like the first the first way in which you can own your dark skin is to like evaluate your idea of what you see what you think is beautiful we are we evaluate that your idea create like if you think if you have this opinion that your dark skin is not nice if you are lighter if you are fairer if you're a tone or three tones lighter than the way you are if you're of that opinion change it throw it away begin to love yourself okay acknowledge that there are different types of beauties you do not have to be fair yeah look i'm beautiful i see it every single time you don't have to be really fair you don't really you don't, you don't have to be light skin to be called beautiful that's why I, i'm going to i'm going to I'm going to actually record a video and like say this thing. Whenever I hear this term, um, black beauty, I do not like it. But that's that's the whole thing. I do not like that. It's, it's like okay, I'm beautiful, but I'm black. Or I am too beautiful to be black. That's how I see it. No matter how you try to change it, that's how I see. It. But that's a different topic. So own your dark skin. Reevaluate what you see as beautiful. There are different types. You are beautiful regardless, irrespective of how uh, you look. Your skin is beautiful. Look, I will never enter into any. Okay, imagine if I enter into a class, I just sit down and I just look around. That's that's my idea. That's what I think. This is just um, this is my opinion. This is how I see myself. I look around. Okay, who is the most beautiful girl in this class? I look around like. Mm, who's the most beautiful girl in this class? I am. <laughs> Tell yourself that you are beautiful. You are really beautiful. Forget the media. The media portrays, okay, just light skin girls, even on skincare products, on soaps and everything. You see, uh, consciously, the, I don't know, a lot of it is, is a lot. The media, the society is, is a lot. You see, we will tell, um, Somebody told me that, okay, uh, you are really dark or cherished. Make sure you get married to a fair man <laughs> so that your children will not be like, what do you mean? What do you mean? So a lot of things, even when I was younger, but this is not the video for that talk. You guys, eh? when matter reach ground, when it's time to talk about these things, we'll bring it up. But the first way to own your dark skin is to wear but like change your mentality you're thinking what you think is beautiful change it not just not just being light skinned or lighter 
change it think about it okay okay so another way in which you can own your dark skin love your dark skin embrace your dark skin avoid comparing yourself to others avoid comparing yourself to light-skinned people or saying that oh ah, god if i was lighter or ah this girl is this girl is really beautiful if i was only if i was really light-skinned or lighter than light like her i'll be really beautiful avoid comparing yourself you guys are you people are two different people you i am dark she's she's okay this person is equally beautiful she's light-skinned i'm equally beautiful yeah i'm dark-skinned we are different people avoid comparing yourself comparison may be like if there was this word is a thief of joy or something like that i don't know stop comparing yourself you are be, i am beautiful there are equally light-skinned girls who are beautiful like change your mentality like everybody is moving stop being there change it the first one is reevaluate your idea the image what you see as beautiful not just being don't be of that mentality that okay only like seeing girls are beautiful yes that's what the media says that's what the society says but change it change it the second one is avoid comparing yourself you do not need to, you are not the same you are two different two different people like two different entities two, two different entities two different people in general okay just avoid that avoid that instead of comparing yourself don't even compare yourself that's just what i'm going to say do not stop it the third way in which you can own your dark is by being positive being positive being encouraging okay by loving yourself be positive about your skin I've always seen things that, oh, things like, okay, oh, I wish I was, I wish I was light-skinned. I, I, oh, I wish. As if you are, <laughs> as if it's a misfortune or it's something really, really bad, being dark or you are, you are really unfortunate. It's really, it's really an unfortunate thing that you're dark and you've not been looking for different ways to bleach your skin. But it's this person that they, so I'm going to explain that point. But there's this lady that really, the like she's my nail person, a nail technician. I usually go to her to do my nails, make my nails. She looked at me one day and was like, if you see her, you know this person was a dark-skinned person. She's beautiful. She's still beautiful anyway, but her skin is not what it, what it should be. She looked at me and was like, ah. Oh, God created me a dark person. I was as dark as you. But she said this in Yoruba, if you understand Yoruba, like Ojuko Koro, like she was not contented. Like Ojuko Koro knows me, see, like kind of that because she was not contented with how her skin was, she went to bleach her skin. And this look to me, I feel like if you bleach your skin, it can never really go back to what it used to be. You might actually go back, like it might your skin can heal, but it might never really go back to what it usually like. Look at how dark I am. If I bleach my skin, I might come, I might be dark. Okay, I can, I might, if I stop bleaching, I might later be dark, but not as dark and shiny and glowy like the way I look. Like, are you guys getting my point? So, be positive, encourage yourself. I am dark, I am beautiful, I am unique, I have everything. Okay, nobody can. Excuse me. Dark skin is what more than gold, a million. Some people don't think that way, but love your skin. Praise yourself, okay? So, guys, you don't know what you have until you lose. So, my first point is focus on what you love about yourself, okay? If this is a way to own yourself, own your dark skin. Focus on what you love about yourself. Instead of focusing on how you look, your skin, how your skin looks. Focus on what you love about yourself. So what do I love about myself? I love my I love my skin. <laughs> I love my skin. I love my eyes. I love my small nose. I love my lips. I love how they are full. And I'm loving my hair. <laughs> I'm loving my hair now. I never used to have a really good afro. Like my hair was scanty, scanty. So when I cut my hair, I like I cut my hair, got to stay now. And look at it. I never knew. See, oh, I'm so happy to say this finally. I never knew I had a really great hair, great afro. Anyway, um, focus on yourself. Look at your body. Look at your. Pick a thing or two. Things that you. Not even a thing or two. You should love your body. You can't change a thing about it. So love it. Okay? I love my eyes. I love my nose. I love my neck. 
I just love everything about me basically. So look at yourself and focus on things that you love about yourself. Okay, that's another way to own your dark skin. Another way in which you can own your dark skin is by accepting yourself. Praise yourself, celebrate yourself, channel that your energy and every energy you have in accepting yourself. This is who you are. I am dark skin. I am beautiful. I am unique. I am not this girl. I am not this. I'm not this person. This is who I am, and I have to accept myself. I have to love myself. Look, look let me say something. The truth. I tell my friends. I say it every time. The truth is what you say it is. When you start dwelling on that, everything, every, the, every other thing follows. When you start saying, okay, I am beautiful, I am black, I am... Look, everything will just be aligning, aligning, aligning. Do <laughs> Everything will just, just really work for you. That's just it. That's, that is... Look, make a conscious effort. Like, you would just calm down. Everything will take care of your skin, skin care. Don't worry, okay? Another way in which you can actually accept or own your dark skin, okay, is by having a dark skin role model. A dark skin, but I'm looking at myself in the mirror and I'm looking at this black lipstick that I don't know what I'm feeling. That's the way I love it. Okay, another way you can accept or own your dark skin is by having a dark skin role model, like somebody that makes you see positive things in yourself, someone that gives you a an image of self-acceptance somebody that it's like you understand what i'm saying okay just find a role model a dark skin role model someone who will make you feel or who makes you feel that you can do anything because you're dark okay and someone who makes you see yourself in this positive light okay i have a lot of dark skin i don't know if they are my role models i don't know but they are just people that i love because the way they talk, take their dark skin there. Mm. Mm. <laughs> anyway, I have my dark skin role models, and you can have yours. These people are people who consciously or probably unconsciously, they may not know, make me feel like I can do anything in this skin. Anyway, guys, that's just it for this video. That's just it, really. That is it own your dark skin nobody will come and own your dark skin if you do not like your dark skin nobody will come and tell you that no matter how many people tell you oh you are very beautiful you will not even, you will not even see the beauty in your skin you just still be in that you see you just still have that mentality you keep hating yourself so one day you you do what you do the until care you so stop being in that light come out love yourself stop being in self denial some people say no i'm not dark skin i'm caramel are you okay? <laughs> anyway, guys, my name is Cherish Cause. That is all for this video. I'm going to be seeing you guys subsequently in my next video. Please subscribe if you have not subscribed. If you love this video, give it a thumbs up, like, subscribe, and share. <laughs> Bye.